Hey guys, Children's Cosplay Play here. Um, this is the 3D printed articulated finger. So this is the assembly. So what we need is we need some extra filament. It can either be PLA or ABS, depending on whatever you print in. It really doesn't matter. So we'll need a nice section of that. So we're going to use it as pins. So what we'll do is we start off by grabbing our knuckle middle piece and one of the other pieces and we'll just feed through. Now what I've done is I've drilled these holes out with a 1.8 millimeter drill just to give me that extra little bit of ability. Now I did shrink this pattern down considerably so that it was um, a much smaller finger. So what we do is we do that so we pin it through once we've pinned it through, we just cut it off. Okay, so we're going to come back and we're going to um, heat solder or use a soldering iron and heat press those. So we make little pin caps. Now you can glue this together if you like, but um, the holes are there to guide you all the way through um, putting this thing together to make sure it goes together as accurately as possible. So the whole thing was 3D designed this way and um, so far the laser cut versions have worked really really well. So we're now up to the these versions. Now we don't want to pin that yet because as you can see these two here will actually require this sucker, whoops wrong one, this sucker to be put inside here. So, we'll squeeze him in there right now. There we go. So, there's our first moving part. Alright. So, the next piece, obviously, is we want to assemble the main part of the finger all the way through. So, we'll grab these ones, which I think is finger three, or finger part three, A and B. So, three. A and B, so it's three parts. And then we'll just pin those. So again, we're only pinning it for the moment. We'll lock it all in later on. This is just to give you an idea of how the whole thing goes together. Now my choice of blue PLA was entirely because I had some spare was sitting in the printer at the time. So don't worry about actually how far you cut those off because you can trim them down later on before you um, press them into a pin head or melt them in or however you want to do it. So as I said, you can glue these and super glue these, etc. So I'm doing a little bit different. I'm not adding the second one, or I should say the, the second part of this straight away. So what I'll do i will start doing that now because otherwise it will get a little bit too difficult to get on there. And of course it's going to be stubborn. So just move those back a little bit. There we go. Push those pins through it. And they go through. Again, we've got another one of these. Okay, so again, you don't want to connect it all the way through. Now, this one here, it goes in just like that. All right. So getting back to the original pat, original way it was facing. Just like that. Alrighty, we're back. So yes, you've got to watch out for layer shifts. Okay, on my printer, it layer shifted on this one just ever so slightly, which gave it a small edge, so I had to go and file that off. So these should fit all together really, really well. So nice and smooth, nice and even, and together. Alright, so I have to pull these pins back a little bit. Slide this one on here. 
push the pins through. And see how quickly this is going together. So that should give you a fully articulated finger section. So I fell for one of my own traps here. Now I put it upside down. So I've now rectified that problem. Now if you look really close, see if this camera is actually going to focus in on this. Probably not. But there's a tiny little flat spot on these ones. That goes to the bottom. All right. So, if we connect that one there, and we connect that one there, you'll get a bit of an idea of what it's going to do when it's all together. All right. So you pull on this bit, and it goes through. Now there's more holes through all of these, okay, which once you've got it together and trimmed, you're going to have to um, connect those through to the other bars. So you don't want too much pressure on it, you just want to have them there so they hold, so they don't come undone. Now also there's a tiny little hole just here on this one here. Very difficult to see, so just on that one. That's there to stop it going too far and hyperextending. So you put an extra little bit of filament there and then it won't hyperextend. Voila, that's the finger assembly. So to speed things up, I've just gone and trimmed all of these off. So all my pins. So as you can see, they're quite short and I'm just going to use a, sol a simple soldering iron to melt them into the solder on there. to melt them down flat so that they act as pins. Okay, there we have it. An articulating finger. Now what we have to do is we have to put the rods on. Again, we need our little bit of uh, filament. And don't forget, these pins go to the inside. So to save making a complete nut a mess of this, You see it goes like that. Now you'll probably, probably find it will catch a little bit, which means you'll have to sand back a few of your pins just there. But we can get back to that in a minute. So, we just want to hold it like that. We get our filament. I'm going to make a, a little bit of an axle, which goes through. through like that. So this one we want to sort of just do about the right length, give or take. So let's 
probably a little bit long, but that's okay. We'll just trim it off. There we go. So we just want it about that length. Now you don't want to push down too hard, but you do want it to hold it where it needs to be. So here's where you got to get your soldering on and gently melt this one. Give it a couple of seconds to actually set in place and then melt the other one. So rinse and repeat down the bottom. So that's going to hold that entire piece up on that shaft up there. So same again down the bottom. And as you can see, because your filament is curved, you sort of got to give it a little bit of a push. Just making sure that's all where it needs to be and trim it off. All right, so same again, rinse and repeat. Obviously, we want to hold that gently in place. And seal our pins. All right. So, give me one moment. I'm going to go and file these little bits off so that it will actually work nicely. All right, and I'm back. Okay, so I've sanded these off, as you can see. I'll file them off with a little needle file. And now you can see the entire thing moves quite freely. So, as you can see, there's that hyperextension. So we still need that uh, bottom piece as well. So again, remember, the little tab goes on the inside. So a little tab on the inside, little tab on the inside. Clicked into place. And again, same thing. I'm just going to straighten that a little bit. Grab the soldering iron again. Just melt that one. Melt that one. Right. Now for the last one. the pin slightly through. And we don't need that anymore. Seal that side. Seal that side. And you have your very first articulated finger. All right, so there we have it. Fully 3D printed articulated finger. So simply pulling down this one here. Now I haven't put the, um, the, the pin just in here, so we might go back and get that. But as you can see, you simply pull down on this one and it rolls in. There we have it, guys. 3D printed finger.